Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be rearranging a formula to change the subject, also known as changing the subject of a formula. So let's take a look at the first example. Here, the question would like us to make A the subject. We have an equation A plus B equals C. So in order to make A the subject, all it means is you have to isolate the A and get it to be on its own on one side of the equation. Since it's on the left-hand side, I'm going to rearrange and keep it on the left-hand side. So what's being attached to this A? It's just the plus B. So if I can eliminate this plus B using my knowledge of solving equations, then I can successfully rearrange and make A the subject. So this is how it's going to look. Since it's a plus B, I would like to do the opposite operation and perform a minus B on both sides of the equation. A plus B and the minus B cancel out, leaving me just with A. However, on the other side, a minus B is introduced. Since I can't simplify it with the C, it just becomes C minus B. And there you have it. You have rearranged to make A the subject of this simple example. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Here we have 2a plus 3b equals 2. We're still trying to make a the subject. So we want to isolate the a. There's a 3b added onto the a, and then there's a 2 being multiplied onto it. From our understanding and knowledge of solving linear equations, we should always get rid of the plus or the minus first. In this case, it's the plus 3b. How I'm going to do that is quite simple. I'm just going to perform the opposite operation of how it's attached to the a, which is a plus. So I'm going to do the opposite, which is a minus. Same value on both sides. So plus 3b minus 3b leaves me with 2a. And on the other side, it becomes 2 minus 3b. And now all I have to do is detach or eliminate this 2. It's being attached to the a by a multiplication. So I'm going to divide it with the same value. Divided by 2. And on the other side as well, divided by 2. This is going to leave us with a equals 2 minus 3b. And how you'd write this divided by 2 is as a fraction all over 2. And there you have it. This is how you rearrange to make a the subject for a two-step formula. Okay, let's take a look at a slightly more complicated example, this time involving fractions. And even more so, the variable you'd like to rearrange for is a denominator. So in this case, we want to make a the subject and it's a denominator. This is how you'd proceed. Since this one is being added onto the entire fraction, I can just eliminate it straight away. So that's what I'll do. Minus one on both sides. This will leave me with B minus two over A is equal to two. Since the entire B minus two is being divided by A, all I can do here is multiply both sides by A. Of course, an expression being divided by a, and now you're introducing a multiplication by a to this expression, will cancel out the a, leaving you with b minus 2, and on the other side will be 2a. Now to rearrange for a and to get it on its own, since the 2 is being attached to it via multiplication, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, and this is going to leave me with b minus 2 over 2 equals a. And there you have it. That's how you'd approach a question like this. Okay, let's take a look at this problem here. You have a new operation here, which is the square root, which we haven't seen in previous examples. So how you do this problem is like any other problem. You'd first begin by expanding the brackets, which will give us this. Of course, the two multiplied by the three to give us six, and the two multiplied by root a to give us two lots of root a. Then we have the minus one on the outside. You can then go ahead and simplify the left-hand side by collecting the like terms. You have the 6 and the minus 1, which simplifies to make 5. Then we have the plus 2 root a equals b. You can then now begin isolating the a. There is a 5 being added onto the root a and the 2 being multiplied onto it. So let's go ahead and get rid of that plus 5 by subtracting 5 on both sides. This now leaves us with 2 root a is equal to b minus 5. Now we can isolate the root a by dividing by 2 on both sides, since the 2 is being attached to it via multiplication. And this leaves us with root a is equal to b minus 5 over 2. Now how you get rid of a square root 
is by doing the opposite operation. And the opposite of a square root is squaring. So how I like to show my working out when it comes to eliminating root is just to put brackets around it and to square it, just like that. Brackets around it and to square it, to show that you're doing the same thing on both sides. Square root of a squared, the square root and the square cancel out, leaving us just with a. And the other side remains the same, b minus five over two squared. And there you have it. That's how you would solve a slightly more complicated problem such as this. Okay, let's take a look at a problem where the subject you'd like to rearrange for, in this case a, is on both sides of the equation. Well, first things first, always expand the brackets where necessary or when possible. So in this case, our first step is to expand the brackets and to get 5a plus 15, which is equal to ab minus 10. Your next step is to get all of the a's onto one side of the equation. So in this case, I'm gonna get all of my a's to the left-hand side, which means I want to eliminate this ab from the right-hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract ab from both sides. This is gonna leave us with 5a minus ab plus 15 equals minus 10. I'm now gonna eliminate this 15 from the left-hand side just to isolate all of my a's. So I'm gonna do minus 15 on both sides, minus 15, which leaves me with 5a minus ab is equal to negative 25, since minus 10 minus 15 is negative 25. Now for this step, how you isolate an a in this case, where it's present in an expression in both terms, is by factorizing. So I'm gonna take out the common factor of a, and within the brackets, I'm left with five minus b, and this is all equal to negative 25. Now to isolate the x, really think about what's happening here. You have an a that's being multiplied onto an expression. Or you can think of it as the expression being multiplied onto the a. So how would you detach this entire expression? Well, if it's being attached via multiplication, so I'm gonna divide it by five minus b. And this will now leave me with a is equal to minus 25 over five minus b. Now, if you wanted to be pedantic and rewrite this in a more elegant way, all you could do is multiply the top and the bottom by negative one. Since you are multiplying a fraction, top and bottom, by the same value, you are not required to really do anything to the left-hand side because this is essentially the same as multiplying by one. And what this does is the following. Negative 25 multiplied by negative one gives us 25. And five minus b multiplied by negative one, well, the five now becomes a minus and the minus b now becomes a uh, positive which leaves us with b minus five. And it can be argued that this is a more elegant way of leaving your final answer, not that they should dock marks if you leave it in the highlighted form. Anyway, guys, that's it for how to rearrange formulae to change the subject. I hope you have learned something by watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them where possible. Thank you very much, and take care.